Hey everybody, it's Robert with the Secret Wine Society where it's our job to bring you everything strange, wonderful, and amazing in the world of wine. Today I've got something I consider to be quite amazing. So I love Nebbiolo and I think you all should drink more of it. So let's check this out. So this is a Gattinata. So Gattinata is in Piedmont, but it's a little bit north of Barolo in some of these areas. And the climactic conditions are approaching that of Piedmont. So you could get some really good bargains here. Now this particular winery, Nervi, this was bought by uh, Conterno. And this gentleman just bought the oldest winery in Gattinata. So there's a lot of exciting things happening there. But the basic point is Gattinata can give you some smoking deals in Nebbiolo compared to some of the Barolos, which can be priced out of reach for most people. So this is the 2016 Gattinata from Nervi. See anything on back, 14% alcohol, not a whole ton of information there. So let's just get right to it. So when I say um, Price-wise, this runs about 60, which is not cheap by any standard, but for this type of quality, that's certainly in line with what you would pay, because a lot of Barolos are going to be a lot more than that. So this would give you an idea of what a high-end Nebbiolo should be like, right? Now granted, this still has miles to go, but it's drinking really, really well right now. So let's check out the color. Beautiful light crimson mahogany type, just a pretty, pretty color. And you know, that's the thing about these Nebbiolos, you look at them in the glass and the color would not indicate the power behind these wines, which is, I mean, they are stunning wines done correctly. So anyway, let's look at that color a little more closely. See that? And you can see, you can see too, that's really, really pretty. You can see the light coming right through it there. So it's fairly translucent. I mean, I can see, you know, my hands under the glass there. So it's, we've let this thing sit out for a little bit. It definitely needs to decant for an hour. So we've given it a little bit of time. So let's see what it has to offer here. Okay, so that nose, tons of sweet cherry coming off of that. Really, really strong, sweet, beautiful cherry, but it's a pure note, right? This wine is gonna be good, I can tell. Okay, so there's a lot of underbrush, some earthy tones in there, and a lot of spice. Like I'm picking up, uh, almost into cinnamon and juniper berries. I mean, this stuff is really intriguing, captivating nose. Oh, this wine will make you so, so happy. This is the kind of wine to contemplate. If you want to, if you're drinking and you're relaxing at night and maybe reading a book or on the phone with one of your old friends. This is one to sip and really think about and enjoy. This, I mean, just the, the nose on this thing is incredible. Let's try it. It's like when I lived in Ohio, they had uh, Cedar Points Amusement Park on Lake Erie. And one of these rides, you would get in it, it's like a drag strip of this thing just shoots you and catapults you straight forward. You go from zero to, I don't know, 100 miles an hour and so quickly. That's intense. That does this with your brain. You go from zero to 60 and nothing flat. Wow real spicy I'm still tasting it I mean you know it's lighter bodied it's but there's so much concentrated and pure 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 fruit in here let's try this again I 
not going to use the evil spit bucket. Because yeah, you really can't. If you spit this out, you're 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 missing 90% of it. That finish is amazing. It's just it's just coating everything. It's spicy, but those tannins are ultra ultra sheer. You know, they always talk about thread count with sheets. Imagine thread counts of like like I don't know in the hundreds and hundreds of thousands or whatever. Just ultra sheer, beautiful wine. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean. Yeah, this thing could go for miles, but it's so good right now. As of 2016, I think they said it's been about 20 months in oak already. So, you know, it's been around a while, and then I think it was in bottle a little bit, maybe six months before they released it. So it's a 2016. You know, it's got some few years on it. I mean, it's got miles to go, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it's drinking so, so, so well right now. I would not pass this up. This will be on limited time glass pour. For a few glasses around $15, which for this quality is amazing. So if you want to try a high level Nebbiolo, if you don't know what that tastes like, if you want to calibrate your brain to that, this would be a good example. This would give you an idea of what these wines are supposed to be doing and why people pony up the money for them. I mean, are they insane to pay these prices? As they've been doing it for decades and all over the world. I mean, are we the only ones that haven't figured this out? No, when you try it, you'll understand and you'll know why people so, anyway, that's the uh, Nervi Gattinata 2016. As always, if you like what we're doing here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you put yourself in for notifications. You don't want to miss this. I should get a, lot, a little bit more of this in. If you're interested, like I said, it's a $60 bottle. Wine Club member is a little cheaper than that, remember. Uh, but it will be on limited glass pour if you just want to try one glass or share it with somebody because I'd like you guys to drink very, very widely. Okay, love you all. Thanks so much for tuning in. Talk to you later.